we are back in beautiful Sydney. Sacred tide, didn't know. Stood on the banks with two rosaries. Open the floodgates in the back of the sluice. Laura, I love you more than you'll ever know. How can I protect you from this? You won't let go. Look at that big, beautiful ship. Down we go. Six months ago, we stepped off into Sydney for the first time on that big old ship right there. We were gonna take it back to the States and back into the Western Hemisphere, but uh, we've changed our plans. So this is the end of our scheduled activities. We had our six month trip pretty well planned out. Uh, we had changes due to like volcanoes and stuff, but from now on, we're shooting from the hip. So we've extended in this region of the world for another year. We're gonna spend a little bit of time in Australia and then get back up and do more of Asia and uh, some really exciting stuff coming up there. We're just like, it's our ship. <laughs> oh, the food, I miss the food. Top ramen just doesn't do it. <laughs> Australia is very expensive. <laughs> so in one year from today, we will be back here getting on that puppy. Let's do it. We are on the water ferry over to Manly. It's kind of like jumping into a can with a bunch of other sardines. There's our boat again. Captain Ron, there's gorillas in the woods. Boy, uh, Manly Wharf is happening. enough to be in Sydney for Anzac Day. Anzac Day marks a battle in World War I, but also marks what's recognized as the beginning of national conscience for Australia and New Zealand. Look at that super yacht. Wow. We 
here at beautiful Bondi Beach and Kate, the little fangirl, had to come here to get a picture at the lifeguard station of her favorite Australian reality show. video. Click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.